back, I was lucky enough to meet a man who had fought in the Blue Division, the volunteer force that Spain gathered together in order to fight Russia and help Hitler out during the Second World War. I had the opportunity to meet an elderly guy, an elderly Jewish guy from the East End of London, from Bethnal Green, who had come over to Spain during the Civil War to fight on behalf of the Republican government. He was shot at Teruel in the arm. But I had the great fortune to interview him a few years ago. A couple of months ago, I met in this very town a man who had walked the Carretera de Muerte, the infamous road from Malaga to Almeria that was bombed heavily by Italian planes and German warships. What provoked these horrific acts of violence? And once over, why was there no reconciliation? Find out on this episode of Ideological Spain. The 1930s can't be understood without delving into the roots of that fateful conflict. It's no good talking about this side being better or that side being worse than the other without understanding why actions were taken. Context can help us understand what facts alone cannot. People who know little about the Civil War generally know even less about its origins and the importance of the Second Republic. They tut and shake their head in a liberal fashion and say, oh, all sides were equally guilty. Best to just forget it. Shake hands, move on. Well, I'm sorry, but that's just a bit too liberal for me. Yes, one side had rebellious factions carrying out barbaric behavior, but they were generally contained and condemned by their leaders. On the other hand, you had a systematic policy from top down that said kill, eliminate, wipe out all social opposition and then when the war is over, don't stop there, keep going. There's no balance there. Consequently, we have a situation today where wounds that really ought to have been healed by now were not. Neither at the death of Franco, nor during the transition to democracy, nor today. Wounds that still fester, divide and silence so many families, towns and communities. Japan, Germany, Italy all conducted investigations into the crimes carried out on their own people after the Second World War, but not Spain. Instead, parties of the dictatorship morphed into parties of a democracy and signed a pact in the late 1970s to stay silent forever. Forgive and forget. Nice idea, but hasn't worked. Spain remains split. Not so much a left and a right thing, anymore. Today it's about transparency. It's about honesty and about accountability. There's a basic demand to know about the whereabouts of buried family members, for example. A demand to know the truth about those missing 40 years. Will it happen? Who knows? In the meantime, there are other pressing issues that must be addressed. In the last two episodes of this series, we're going to be looking at what needs doing next. Join me for Thirsty Spain. Yo, say cheese. Mr. Cheese Man. Say cheese.